Hey, what is up guys? John from Magic Tech Review coming at you again with another live stream with CB Tech tonight. How you doing, buddy? Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going? Man, the individual with the array. Individual in the house. What's up, man? Yeah, man. I know everything's going right if he if I if I see him, man. Definitely. <laughs> Chris Stevenson's in here. What's going on, man? Oh man, man, man. So yeah, we got we got quite a quite a cool little show for you tonight, guys. Um got fourteen thousand subscribers, just hit that milestone. It's amazing. Yeah. Awesome hitting that fourteen thousand, man. Yeah, everybody was like, Congratulations. I didn't even know. I was like, Wow. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Um What's so yeah, man? guys. If you are not subscribed to C V Tech, please guys do so at this time. Um if you're in the comments down below, um, you know, replay crew and everything, leave a like on the video, guys. We got a few few haters here and there on you on the live streams for some apparent reason. I don't know why. But yeah, so they're everywhere, man. man. They're everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. I'm not only get worse. They're only gonna get worse, it looks like. Okay. Oh, Brandy just retweeted. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. I don't know if she's here, but she just retweeted it out. Thank you. Thank you so much for retweeting. That's super important. Yeah, retweets um, are awesome, y'all. <laughs> retweets and super chats. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, boy, boy, boy. I, 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 I fixing to say both are free, but uh, super chats ain't free. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but we, we, come, we come in at you live every night. You know what I'm saying? At least I'm going to be here live every night. I don't know. Hopefully, CV Tech will join us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll try. I'm going to try. Yeah. If he takes a break, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it is what it is, right? Man, I, ha I haven't been live on my channel in days, man. I can't remember when I went live last. Wow. What's going on, man? I just, uh, I need to break the, si I need to break the silence, man. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, phone features, man. Phone features. That's, that's the topic of tonight. Um, cause you know, a lot of phones, man, they got all these ridiculous little features and this and this, you know, and then some that, you know, I've really enjoyed like back in the day that are just not on phones anymore. So, yeah. Uh, and there's some features on phones that I'm like, okay, you know, do we really need that? Yeah. So I'm going to start off with one of my favorite features that I used to like on cell phones. And maybe you guys will agree with me. I'd like to see the return of a camera shutter button. Yes. Cause I just, yeah. I don't know what it is. I just feel like, like when you're pressing, when you're pressing on the thing and when you're pressing on the screen, it tends to move your cat. You know what I'm saying? It tends to move it. But when you have that camera button, man, you just go boop right there, man. Well, you know, the good thing about that is in the settings on most phones, you can actually use your volume button as your shutter button if you want to. Yeah, I know. I know. But I know, it's not, I know it's not the same thing, you know. Yeah. But yeah, man, I do. I do. I do kind of miss that, man. I do kind of miss that a dedicated um, camera button. Um, yeah, that was a good feature. I never thought about that until you mentioned it, man. I completely forgot about the dedicated camera key on most on on the older phones. Remember yeah, Windows? Good. Windows phone, that was a thing, man. That was a thing. Oh yeah. You know, the, the half press to get it good focused in and press it again got you a good picture, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um guys in the comments below in the live chat, let us know about uh some of these <laughs> some of these features that you would like to see come back or go away let us know and then we can uh we can talk about them so headphone jack somebody's bringing up the headphone jack i want to say first of all that i'm currently watching the stream as well on cricket right here and the stream looks really solid tonight so that's really good i'm glad it's thumbs up all right the chirp where you at yeah i remember the <laughs> chirp well, oh man, yeah man the sure, dude yes 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 i mean they have apps that do it now or whatever but it's just not the ain't same. the same ain't the same i mean you know okay how many y'all remember uh on boost mobile back in like 2005 six seven and all like that when they had them chirp phones on nextel and everything um you know how many uh i'm trying to okay how many remember how how much of a pain it was to send a text message 
uh, text messages would take, would take like 30 minutes to send and like 30 minutes to receive a text message. Uh, that was the biggest problem I had with those uh, IDN phones back in the day. I mean, most some of y'all may not have had that problem, but I mean, I hated the the, the SMS and all that on the on them phones. And I got little John over here. He wants me to he wants me to play his little Star Wars game with him. So <laughs> I'm gonna play that intermittently with you guys. And just to let you guys know, I mean, uh, last night you know we had some haters or whatever uh, saying that little John was up late or whatever. Let me remind you guys that he is mute autistic and, you know, literally like I can't just tell him go to bed, you know, and what I, I do these live streams a lot of times to actually stay up with him at night. So, you know, so I'm not falling asleep with him just running around the house because he does he is a uh, he is a flight risk, you know. So if I, you know, nod off or fall asleep or whatever before little John goes to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I wake up and the kid ain't here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's really hard for him to get out because we do have a lot of security measures on the door or whatnot. But, you know, it's just very dangerous. So that's why little John is usually up at night. And this is, you know, I usually do this just to stay up with him or whatever. So yeah. that's, what, that's what that is. Yeah, and, and I'll go ahead and throw this out there as well to the haters. None of your business. Yeah. Oh, of course. And then if you know, until you know the struggle of having... You know, a mute autistic son that, you know, is severely autistic. It's not like he's, uh, you know, just a little bit high functioning and, you know, he, he can't talk to us guys. So, you know, I, I hold a job. I do this. And, you know, this channel is for him. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just it, it's crazy, man, how people just want to, you know, throw their holiness around, you know, like like I they know the whole situation. Yeah. And, and say that it's bad parenting because your kids up like big. Wow. You know, I mean, right. <laughs> he goes to school. He gets seriously. It, he, he gets his stuff done, man. So. Yeah. Anyways, that's enough, enough about my soapbox or whatever. But um, yeah, uh, uh, Art, Art Dog says removal, re removable battery. Uh, and Robert Costello says it, too. Yeah, you know, it, it, it is, there is a still there, there is at least still some phones out there that has batteries that can be removed. But yeah, the, the majority of them. I mean, it was always nice to be able to buy a phone, you know, if your battery went bad or if you wanted a spare one, just go somewhere and buy a spare battery and you're, you know, you're, you're zero to a hundred in no time. So yeah, that's one thing that I wish was come back. I mean, really the, I mean, my V20 has removable battery and that's really good. Cause I mean, that phone's really solid and it's really nice to see that phone have, you know, a metal build, but have a removable back and take the battery out. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Keegan says, dude, you don't have to explain. My son has the same issues. We love and cherish our kids. My son is mute and autistic too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's different when you're, you know, when your kid can actually understand what you're saying, man, he, he, he's literally mute. So it's not like, you know what I'm saying? He can't just say, you know, yes, daddy, no daddy, you know, like even like when he's sick, like we don't even know what's wrong with him, you know, cause he can't tell us anything. So, mm -hmm. It's just, yeah, it's kind of weird, man, about that. So, oh, thank you there. Uh, damn, how do you say that? Per Pierre you Cross. Say that? Oh, Pierre, Pierre Cross. Thank you for the dollar donation, man. So, so, so welcome right now. Um, like I said, man, January, February are terrible for the uh, monetization. But I don't want to keep harping on that, guys. You know what I'm saying? I want to bring you good content. So, yeah, uh, William says the hour blaster. I, I kind of knew that was going to come as well. I mean, the hour blaster was okay, but it was it's more of a to me. Hour blaster was one of the least important things in a phone. It's cool to have, you know, if you want to like do play dose on people stuff like that. But as far as I mean, I mean my V twenty has it, but I honestly I never use it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fun to have. Like, it's really fun to have on there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know how much cost it is because, I mean, you can literally, I mean, they literally make, like, dollar remotes at the, you know, at the dollar store. I don't know if it takes a lot of space or whatever. I don't think it does. Um, I'm not, let me, let me see. I'm not sure if in my V20, my V20 right here in my hand, and I was trying to use it on Metro, and, of course, it's, it won't let me use it for some strange reason or another. But I'll see how much storage it actually takes as far as the hour blaster, if I can find it in here. But 
Uh, I mean, and also, how many people actually use the NFC and the and the, all the payment stuff like that? Because oh, you know, boy, man, I, see, I seen this one guy, man. He pulled out his Samsung, man. He was just like, man, he was like throwing that thing like a wand, man. He was like, ooh, I got my, I got my Samsung pay. He was like stroking the little. Stroking the little, uh, what is that? The payment, <laughs> little payment card reader thing. Yeah. Was just like, was just like, I'm like, okay, bro, chill, man. We know you have uh, Samsung Pay. <laughs> he was like, like it was something like so big, dude. Like, okay, you can pay with your phone. That's cool. <laughs> like it would have taken the same amount of time to whip out a credit card and put mm-hmm. it in the, you know, thing. Like it's all new, like it ain't been out, but, yeah, but it has. I mean, I mean, today, bro, I, mean, I was like, I was like, like so amazed, bro. He was like, he was like, man, you want to see something cool? I'm like, <laughs> all right. He whips out his Samsung phone. Look, bro, I got the Note 8. Check this out. He was like, Boop. look, I just paid for my stuff. I was like, all right, bro, cool. I'd be like, hey, like, I got the Galaxy S7 from 2015. I can do the same thing with mine, <laughs> you know. I mean, my V20, you know, I mean, it, it, you know, it's a flagship from like 20, what, 16? Yeah. And it's got, it has an hour blaster, got NFC, all that stuff on it. And I love this phone. I'm be, I mean, I'm not an LG fan by no means, but this V20 is, man, I love this thing. Samsung Pay never works for me and not worth anymore, it anymore. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the Sam, I mean, yeah, it's cool and all, but. You know, I mean, there's just so many things that can go wrong or whatever. I don't trust it. I just don't trust it. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's still, I mean, it's mobile. It, it, I don't trust it. I, I mean. Dang, little John. Bless you, buddy. Let me see. Big shout outs to Oh, the. Oh my God. What phone is that? The ZT? He, he asked me in a comment. What's up, first, last? He asked me that in the comment, man. I cannot remember what, what the phone. ZT oh, Overture 3. Overture, yeah. I don't, think, I don't think it can mirror, dude. I don't think it can mirror. Does the ZT Blade Z Max and X Max mirror? Screen mirror? I don't uh, think they screen mirror either. I don't have my. I don't have my Z Max or my, my my Blade Z Max on me tonight. I want to say it does ca- uh, have a screencast, but I'm not sure if that's the same thing or not. Don't quote me on that. But now the Overture Three being a lot you know cheaper phone, I really don't know, don't know if it does or not. To be honest, I don't want to tell you one thing and be wrong. I can admit when I don't know something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Good to hear, RJ. Didn't think you liked the V20 that much. I say swipe or put your chip card in takes 30 seconds and at least chip card I can turn off and on. Hmm. But yeah, Art Dog, man. Yeah, I mean, the V20 is solid. Uh, I took some video today. Uh, I'm probably going to upload it. I was in 1080p at 60 frames. I was ha- I had the, I had, I had the phone on the back window and there's about four or five deer out there eating. And I mean, the quality was just amazing. So I may upload it and just say, hey, you know, just random, you know, V20 footage. And I'm telling you, that thing is solid. I love the V20. I mean, do I, do, and when you look at the S7 and V20, oh, my God, it's so close, man. I mean, I guess the V20 for the screen size, but the S7, dude, I'm telling you, S7s, love it. Okay, so Keegan Graham says it's screencast. I know that because I, I work at Cricket. Okay, that's what's up, man. Well, there you go. <laughs> it says no vape tonight, MTR. I want to tell you what happened, man. I leave in the house tonight, uh, and I, I always have my vapes and my phones at one spot to where I grab it all when I leave the house. So tonight I left, got halfway down the road, and re- 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 realized, oh no, my e cig is at home. So I had to stop by the store and buy me a whole new kit, flavors, and everything tonight before I came out here and stream. Oh dang, dude! Yeah, I man. One anyway. I left I my one anyway. I left my juice at home, man. But my wife, she bring it to Target or whatever. So that was pretty cool. Yo, man, so much stuff happened at work today, bro. Somebody actually, not to get off topic and all, we'll, we'll get back on the topic, but somebody, somebody, uh, I don't know what they were doing, bro. Like, 
I don't know how how high they had to be or whatever, but they literally bumped their shopping cart into a fire extinguisher that we had in Target, and the thing just burst like it like it fell off the it fell off the thing, and that I guess it hit the top, and the top came off, and that whole fire extinguisher literally went off inside the wow. store. Wow, bro, that man. So I saw smoke. Me and another. Me and another associate or whatever, you know, I'm third party, but I'm going to help if I see smoke, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. me and another guy, you know, we grab a fire extinguisher. I'm over here covering my covering my stuff like this, running towards it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to the military. So I'm like, man, I'm thinking it might be some kind of, you know, crazy attack or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on, bro. And then there was like an associate and she was like sitting there. Like in the middle of it, she didn't even call on the radio or nothing and tell us what was going on. It was so crazy, man. One half of the store was just almost completely filled with smoke. Wow. (laughs) Yeah, man. I mean, we thought it was like a blazing fire. Something went off or one of the fridges because it was like in the food section, you know? Yeah. That was so crazy, dude. Like, man. Yeah. Uh, Cameron, uh, I, did, I haven't checked it out yet, but I will check it out. The uh, $30 S7 knockoff. Um, I will check that out. I've I seen a uh, a clone replica of the V30 Plus on eBay for like 30 bucks from China. And I was thinking, wait a minute, a V30 Plus for 30 bucks you can buy right now? Nah, and it, it's, just a, it's just a clone knockoff, but it, it looked nice, you know. But, nah, Rock uh, the Tech yeah, guy, I'm looking right here. Oh, sorry. It wasn't a CO2. It was a chemical one. It it rocked the cat. It says CO2. No, it was a chemical one, so it wasn't a CO2 one. If it was a CO2 one, people probably would have probably would have been passing out or, you know what I'm saying, at least, you know, been breathing hard. Right here on my V20 for the quick remote for the IR blaster, it 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 says right here 100 kilobytes is all it takes up storage. But I don't have any kind of nothing set up on it, so it may take more. But still, right here, the whole app is like a hundred kilobytes, so don't take a whole lot of whole lot for the hour blaster. And I guess it is kind of nice to have if you ever do need it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know how dusty those things were, man. This this is like a bunch of dust everywhere. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it wasn't like yeah, the CO two would have probably went away faster than it, but um. Oh, what's wrong with Little John? Oh, he's chilling, man. Little John's chilling. He likes me to play this game with him, so that's what I do. So, but um, so yeah. So, what what are some things, guys, that you would like to see gone from phones? Uh, like, the first thing that pops in my mind is, what do y'all think about the eighteen by nine aspect ratio phones? Oh yeah, bro. I don't even know why they have that, man. Like, it doesn't really. I mean, do for the, yeah. For the I mean, I, I, I think what eighteen by nine does is makes the phone skinnier and makes it more hand friendly. But you get them annoying black bars um, instead of getting you know like the sixteen by nine and everything. Uh, you know, I've never used one, so I can't really comment on it as of right now. But I hear a lot of people say that some say they like it, some say they hate it. Hmm. Yeah, and also no more micro USB, like, like like Cameron said, no more USB, micro USB. Oh these yeah, all be Type C. These are all good Type C now. I'll be done with it. Imagine a uh, imagine a uh, what is that? Not micro, but a mini, mini? USB. Yeah, <laughs> the mini. I imagine you found a phone. You got to stop doing the wife stuff at work. John O L J K J K. Uh, need better battery life. Yeah, well, you know, that's a problem with flagships. I mean, you know, if you buy a budget or mid range, you get phones with four, five, six thousand milliamp hour batteries. So I mean, it's you know, it's mainly the flagship phones that has the the, the worst the worst batteries. The notch, yeah. Well, at least the notch is only only on that stupid iPhone ten. Yeah, I, I was playing around with the iPhone 10 today at uh, at Target, man. It just that notch is just so annoying, man. I couldn't even like no, I I could not. Yeah, uh, Chris, you know, I heard that Apple was thinking about going with Type C instead of Lightning, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 
Mm. No more or less than 2,000 milliamp hour batteries. <laughs> Haven't seen one of those in a long time for the iPhone SE. So, yeah. 8 gigabyte phones, yes. 8 gigabyte phones needs to be gone. No more 8 gigabyte phones. And that blue phone that you showed today for 4 gigabytes, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Isn't wasn't that embarrassing, dude? We got, guys, we got 17 dislikes, man. Let's Seriously. go ahead and get this likes going. Yeah, man, we got 14 likes and 17 dislikes. Man, somebody just don't like us. But you know what? If you, if people don't, don't like you, you know something right anyway. Something. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. I like to get rid of front face recognition and CDMA phone servers like the carrier make all carriers GSM. It will be eventually. Verizon's going there, I think, what, next year? And Sprint, who knows what they're going to do. I don't know. I, Cameron, 64 gigabyte is the lowest. I, I don't know about that. I mean, you can't really sit there and buy a $50 phone and expect to have 64 gigabytes of storage. You got to be kind of, re- you got to kind of be, you know, in the realm of, you, if you can pay $50 for a phone, you know, 16 gigabytes is pretty generous for a phone that cheap. Now, you're gonna put, now two hundred dollars plus. I could see maybe sixty four gigabytes in certain phones, but not no sixty four in all phones. Can you take over for a little bit, bro? I'm gonna give Little John another device to play with, real quick. All right, all right. No more eight or sixty gigabytes, and no more two gigabytes of um, of ROM of I think you mean of RAM. Um, but yeah, well, honestly, I, I mean, I got phones right now, like the blade Z max has only got two gigabytes of Ram and I mean, it works very solid. It's a very solid performer. And I don't really see, I don't really see any issue with, I believe that the bare minimum should be two gigabytes of Ram. Um, and at least 16 gigabytes of storage. I mean, I guess I'm just not very picky and I guess I'm just kind of one of them people that's like, you know, you can't expect, you know, tons of storage, tons of RAM on a $50 phone. It ain't going to happen. Um, you know, something goes, you, you just, nah, that ain't going to happen. I mean, you know, I believe if you, I believe that if you pay, you know, from like a, from like a hundred to $200 for a phone, 32 wouldn't be too bad and maybe three gigabytes of RAM. But I mean, going like saying four to six with 64, 128 on a, <laughs> on a budget phone, this ain't gonna happen. You know, not no time soon anyway. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Mr. Carroll Ware says you need you, you only need more than two gigabytes of RAM if you play games. And I honestly, I've played games with with two gigabytes of RAM that play just as good on like my Blade Z Max as my V20 with double the RAM. So I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, I mean, man, what I don't see, I don't see like playing like high end like. I don't know. I just I, I don't really even like playing those high end games on my you know on my phone, man. I'd rather just break up my laptop or my PC if I'm gonna do all that. Yeah. Or a dedicated the only, console. The only game the only game that I play mainly is NBA Jam on my phones. And it plays on all my phones. <laughs> you know, no problem. Yeah, because man, those, like those high high graphics games, man, they're gonna melt your phone, bro. Like Yeah, and not only that, man, I mean <laughs> They're going to they're going to completely just drain, kill your battery. I mean, especially you know with these phones. I mean, it's funny you have these phones, you know, these new flagship phones with all these fourteen forty or whatever screens they have in them, and they got all this high tech stuff, and they put a little three thousand milliamp hour battery in it, something like that. And that used, I mean, that's a good battery size for you know like a normal phone. But when you get to phones with these. You know, uh, high speed processors and a lot of RAM and you know and getting into these very bright AMOLED OLED displays and they want to put a small battery like that in there? Nah. Yeah, like I don't know, Apple they they made their phone they made their battery like an L shape or something like that. It's just so weird, man. Just like you know, just stick a big battery in there. Why do you want the phone to be so super thin? I mean. You, Mm-hmm. I don't get it, man. I really don't get this thinness thing. You know what I'm saying? And I, I believe the, I believe the, I believe the, the worst phone maker with, with that makes the puts the smallest batteries in their phones is the HTC. HTC is known for putting small batteries in their phones, and they don't last no time. I mean, like my HTC One A Nine. I mean, that phone is very, is still very, very relevant for 2018. I don't care what anybody says about that, but 
you know, that phone's got a, like a 2150 milliamp hour battery. And you can take it off charge, turn it on, and 10 minutes, it'll be like like 94%. If you ain't doing nothing with it, I mean, it just drops just like that. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, man. Some phones, like, you can literally watch the, you can watch yeah, it drop. Exactly. That's how the, and I, I, that's, that's how the HTC 1A9 is. I remember the HTC Evo being like that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not oh, hating God, on it because yeah. HTC Evo, e- Evo was a nice phone when it came oh, first yeah. came out. But yeah, I think it was quite a battery hog, man. Yes, it was. It was a small battery. How big was that battery? I, mean, I don't remember. Uh, it was mm-hmm. under two thousand. Was it under two? Yes, under two thousand. Okay. Um, I mean, but like the iPhone SE, the, like the iPhone SE. People says, "Well, the iPhone SE is such a small little bitty battery." But you got to look at it. It's got a sixteen twenty sixteen forty milliamp hour battery in the sc but that but that battery will actually outperform most phones with a 3000 milliamp hour battery on android so i mean you know oh cv tech i, I want to get i want to get your opinion on this one real quick to get off the topic again uh mario kart bro what do you think about that coming to mobile i just now seen it from michael thomas i haven't seen it uh, i've seen his comment about it i know oh, it's, it's real it. it's real bro nintendo they they put it out in their uh they put it out in their quarterly thing, you know, their investor meeting. Ah, uh, so they say it is coming, Mario Kart tour. When's it coming? You know, I I don't know, man. They said it it said in uh, physical year this physical year, so it can be quite a quite a big range. Wow, that's gonna be awesome, man. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, sorry guys about Nightbot. I have them pretty strict. Um, and it's only a five second ban or whatever. Um, but I have them pretty strict just in case anybody tries to slow throw racial slurs in here. They literally get timed out just like that. Um, so I can, you know, be aware of people doing that. And I just don't want you guys seeing that stuff on my channel. So that's why I got Nightbot like that. So like I said, man, sorry, guys. Just, it's just a five second ban. Yeah, I agree with you there, Jonathan. Um the S the 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 Samsung J7. I, I mean, for a 3300 milliamp hour battery, that thing lasts forever. I mean, that thing lasts a long time. I had the you know the Perks J7 Perks on boost for for a little bit of time a while back, and that thing, I mean, I, you could I mean I, I would use that phone for two plus days. You know, with moderate usage, that thing was just a beast for the size battery it was. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. Hey man, here. hold on one second. I'll, I'll be back in. I'll be back in a minute. All right, take over here. Okay. It says I agree with all you're saying. CV Tech, no need for high, uh, high res screens and small battery. HTC sucks. There you go. That's what Chevy Cobalt Racer said before it got uh, deleted. It wasn't Mario Kart and Game Boy back in the day? Yeah, yeah. Mario Kart was on Game Boy. Yeah, so we're going to be seeing Mario Kart, guys. So when Mario Kart is put on mobile, I'm going to be streaming that for a little bit at least for the first couple days because um, I'm excited. I'm really excited, just like I did with Mario Run, just like I did with Pokemon Go. Um, yeah, and just like I did with the other um, other things. So whenever like a mobile game, especially Nintendo mobile game comes, i got to stream it, man, for a little bit. Uh, I wonder how the controls are going to be, though. You know what I'm saying? It, that's going to be like the main sticking point right there is how you're going to control this Mario Kart. Is it going to be like, you know, the little stick on the screen or is it going to be, you know, tilting it left to right? Is Nintendo going to come out with a little controller that you can use? That would be dope if Nintendo would come out with some kind of controller that you can attach to your phone or whatever. That would be really cool if they did a really nice one that was universal for a lot of phones. I think that would be really cool. Um more glass screens on budget phones would mean glass screens. Mm. Mario Kart. No, they they did have Mario Kart. Um, I can't remember what which which it started with Super Nintendo, but then they I think they did do it for Super. God, now now it's driving me crazy. Somebody go ahead and look it up. Was it Nintendo mocking up a cell phone called the Nintendo? My, I will die if Nintendo comes out with a phone, guys. I will literally just die right in front of you guys. Like, that's it. Like, I'm throwing all these phones away in the trash, and I'm just getting a Nintendo phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gorilla Glass. Yeah, I mean, most most companies have Gorilla Glass. I think they 
there's some that use dragon trail but you know it's very rare that it doesn't like it doesn't use it up look it up jonathan says look it up yeah i know i'm, I'm doing like quite a few things i'm looking at your comments so so if somebody can grab that for me you know what i'm saying help me out go ahead and do so but yeah so what's up all righty y'all So what did I miss? Oh no, we just talked a little bit about the Mario Kart. Wondering when was the first? I mean, it was. I know it was Super Nintendo definitely was pretty much the first one, but then they had it on a Game Boy some sometime. I can't remember which Game Boy it was. Mm. So what do you think this Mario Kart? Right, just going on that topic real quick again. Um, the control. How do you think the Mario Kart will control, man? Uh, I think you'd be best if you had like a like a, like a game pad, you know, like for your phone if you're gonna play Mario Kart, you know, like the one that you know, like an actual you put your phone in there, you know, and you use actual controls. That'd be a lot Wouldn't easier. Wouldn't that be cool that if Nintendo manufactured one, dude? Oh yeah, it would wouldn't it? Oh man, I'd get that so fast, dude. I- I'm too much of a fanboy, I swear. <laughs> but just imagine they made one for. You know what I'm saying? They made a, a Nintendo controller for phones. Bro, like, I would get that, and I would be playing emulators so so bad because I know they would make it quality. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Nintendo I mean, there's good, good ones out now. But, you know, Nintendo, they're going to figure out some way to just make it more universal, play better, and everything like that. They should. Another, Dude, they I think have Mario another- Kart for is for what I think that one thing they also need to get rid of with phones is them stinking FWVGA 480p displays. Oh yeah. Them things Ooh, are horrible. You, do you remember do you remember um some of the Motorola phones had this thing? It had a, a mini HDMI port. You remember that? Uh, I think so. You you remember how I I remember this. It would be two ports on the bottom. It would be the regular Micro USB, and yeah. then it would have a a uh, mini mini um, what's it called a mini HDMI, and then you can like slot it into like a PC or something like that. Didn't you? Didn't they also have that on the HTC Evo 4G as well? Yeah, they did. Thought they did. Pretty sure they did. Yeah, my HTC Evo 4G, I think, still works, man. Um, battery still charges. Good phone. Well, 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 it was a good phone when it came out. I mean, now, of course, <laughs> single core one gigahertz processor don't get you don't, don't get you a whole get, get, don't get a whole lot. I remember Sega Genesis? Oh yeah, Sega Genesis was awesome too. I had one of them and I played it to death, literally. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to play some games, man. So, I got two controllers, man. So when you when you come here eventually, when we uh, meet meet up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I got I got I got two controllers, man. So we can, ready to go, man. Yeah, man. We can we can play right on the laptop, dude. We can stream, have a little stream going on, and we can be playing. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? That would be Nakia me and engage. C- me and me and CV Tech, man, racing racing on Mario Kart or something. Yeah, I always I've always said this, and I always say it: Mario Kart, where friendships are tested. <laughs> <laughs> right, because Mario Kart would Mario Kart would take you off, man. Oh my goodness! I remember me and my ex. Uh, she had a Super Nintendo, a regular old Super Nintendo. She had Mario Kart, and we would we would get in there and we play. And oh my goodness, that'll that'll strain your relationship, man. Tell any. Yeah, that game will that game will take you off, man. <laughs> I loved it, but I hated it. You know. I don't know, man. Uh, for some reason, man, my girlfriends never really were interested, too interested in video games. Well, she wasn't either. She, she but she did love the Super Nintendo, and, I'm, oh. and I was like, awesome. I'm glad about, I'm glad about that. And so uh, we always play Mario, the uh, Super Mario World, all that kind of stuff. You know, it was, it was, it was all fun. Hmm. Mm. Rainbow Road is where it got real. Yeah, Rainbow Road. I remember the one 
Oh man, what was that one? I think it was the Yoshi, the Yoshi one. Like you were kind of like in a jungle or something like that. Uh, I'm talking about 64 Mario Kart 64. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I had a 64 for a short time. I had an N64 for a short time, and I, I I pretty much sold it mint condition, man. And I I, I can't remember what I sold it for, but yeah, I, I, yes, Michael Thomas. I hear that they that the eBay is getting dropped. PayPal is getting dropped by eBay. I don't like that at all i think that is which that was they've been saying that for years and they say it's going to be 2019 before it's like it's all said and done with so i don't like that at all yeah i love paypal man paypal is the shiznit yeah. to get payments I'll tell you exactly man and it's so easy it's so easy i mean t t for paper i mean i mean paypal ain't going nowhere but i mean i guess i mean ebay and paypal is going to be a whole different you know you know, I guess you know. I don't know how that's going to work out, but yeah, I I really like um, PayPal. I don't know how PayPal makes most of their money, man. I don't either. That's... I mean, I, you know, I I know I know. Whenever you sell something on eBay and they do it through PayPal, they get a that they get you know their their little percentage out of it and everything. So I guess that's how they stay afloat. I don't know. Yeah, yeah eBay... cool Alt racer PayPal is being dropped, man. And they're going with a Dutch company, so that's like crazy, man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you, Michael Thomas, for letting us know about some stuff, man. Thank you for sending me the the messages or whatever. I don't reply back most of the time, but I do read your messages, bro. So thank you a yeah. lot, man. For that. Yeah, I seen that today um, somewhere. I seen that we're about. Well, actually, actually, um, I got a thing on eBay about it. I got a, a message on eBay that, that was stating it. So that's where I seen it at. Man, does it does it seem does it seem like to you or do, or is it just me? Is whenever I really like something, really like a company or a product or something, it just seems to go away. It just seems like for some reason they just don't like it or it doesn't make <laughs> enough. Money. Or is, is it just just me or is that everybody's feelings? That, I, I, I'm the same way, man. I mean that that's just like you know. I swear I don't like fall, I don't like falling in love with anything anymore, bro. Because nah, it's like it goes away. It goes away. It goes away. I mean, I know this is going to be sound really weird, but there was a certain type of Gatorade, okay, that I love to drink. I mean, it was one Gatorade, and, you know, they got like 20 different flavors of Gatorade, and my favorite one was the one they discontinued. And I'm like, seriously, that was the best one they ever made, and here they, don't, here they quit making it. And quit, you know, so, I mean, I'm like, you know, it's just, it's, it's always something like that. I'm, I'm gonna give you a few. I'm gonna give you a few examples that I can think of right now at, at the moment. All right. One, my favorite favorite drink ever, Surge. Gone. Not me. Not my. No, no. I I love that damn drink, Surge. For some reason, I did, it was. I, I did back in the day. I, back in the day, I loved drinking it. Then, then it was the um. You might. Well, you're not a drinker anymore, or whatever. I don't know if you used to drink, but I used uh, to, I used to drink a little bit. I, yeah, um, oh, many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> okay, if you guys, I don't know if you guys ever remember the caffeinated drinks. They were called like Juice and Four Loco and all that. They had okay, so they I, had they were I, caffeinated. I, 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 I had I had a brain freeze. I, I I didn't hear not, 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 nothing you just said after after that. So sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, Surge is coming back a little bit, but it's like very, very, very limited. It's not like it's in stores or anything like that. But um, the, uh, the the drinks they're they're cap they're caffeinated like uh, adult beverages or whatever. Four what loco. Called again? It's called four loco or juice. It's no, big, I never heard of. It. But they I they tasted of. really good for some reason when it had the spark. Yeah, yeah, they had spark. They had four loco and they had uh, juice. So basically, they were just caffeinated malt liquor type drinks or whatever, and they tasted good to me. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, they took the caffeine away and just. Tastes like crap, and yeah. they said because like the the teenagers were drinking them or whatever, and it's like, like okay, I, I don't understand it. So, uh, yeah, I can't remember the the flavor of that Gatorade. I'm sorry, I, I I used to know it, but it's been so long. I mean, I was I was a lot younger. I mean, I think this is I think this was before I even started driving when they had this flavor out, so I can't even remember it. 
let me see what else what else was there man there's like so many things that I just i loved and it's just like gone see ya oh you like that not anymore mm-hmm. you know there's a lot of things man there, there, there's been a lot of things that i have been like i oh, just and then all of a sudden discontinued what happened to it oh they quit making it i'm like seriously why don't they get rid of something something that's not any count and you know keep what's good you know spark I used to drink that as an overnight security guard. Good, good old Spark. Yeah, I remember the Spark. They had the orange one, and then they had the different ones. Uh, somebody saying Crystal Pepsi. The old Crystal Pepsi back in the nineties was good. The new one was pretty nasty. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't dig that. Sunny D juice. Sunny uh, D. Sunny D. These those Sunny yeah. D. Uh, but they used to make breakfast squares. They don't like them anymore. Was there a specific name for them? Trying to think of anything else. We should we should make a whole we should make a whole video about this, bro. Not just like a little topic, bro. We can go on like. Mm. No, Chris, they don't. If they did, I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> Vanilla, Melly, Yella, I knew. That just sounds nasty. I mean, but teenagers, if they're gonna, if they want to, I mean, they're twenty. You have to buy. You have to be twenty-one to drink them, anyways. But I don't know, man. Whatever. It's hang on, <laughs> y'all. I got somebody put beside me here. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. Hope he ain't getting stopped again. So, I was just kidding. Um, yeah. So, guys, what else do you guys remember? Uh, from kind of like back in the day that you just really just really liked and it just like went away um I just, i'm having a brain fart now but big red it tastes like the gum i don't think it's a cop i used to drink that mountain dew like crazy but can't drink it no more diabetic uh special brew and he seems like he's fine what up, man? I, I, I was a buddy of mine. I, I didn't recognize his truck. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a he's a good buddy of mine. He's a good buddy of mine. Oh, we thought you was in trouble or something, man. No, no, no. He he's looking, he's waving, he put like, oh no, and then and, but when I said like, oh, okay, he had a new a new truck, man. So thing looked pretty nice. But anyhow, uh, you tell me you're a big YouTuber, man. You're famous. Well, he knows it. Uh, <laughs> he knows oh, okay. it. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. Uh, drink water. I don't drink water much. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't drink water much. I just can't drink water much. Blue Pepsi, Mountain Dew throwback. I, 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 I'm just not a Mountain Dew drinker anymore, y'all. Nope. Mm-mm. Man, I, I seriously got to open a PO box because I would love for you guys to send little john cards or whatever or anything you know anything you guys would love to send little john or, or you know letters uh for him or whatever i would love to be uh, to be able to open that like fan mail day or whatever you know at least once a week or That'd once awesome, every two man. weeks how about cherry pepsi cherry pepsi that's, that's, that's pretty good that's pretty good that's not bad i can i can stomach cherry pepsi all right, Cobalt Racer, man. Have a good, man. Thanks for joining in. So, yeah, I'm just trying to think of other things that, that, um, or how about this one? How about this one? Have you ever thought of something like an invention or something? And then all of a sudden, like you're, you know, because I'm always thinking about something, you know what I'm saying? I'm always thinking about some kind of invention in my head. I used to think that I was going to invent something, like I was going to patent it and, you know, get rich or whatever. Not even get rich, just have to, something that's my own creation. And then you literally like, I don't know, it, it like comes out. Somebody somebody thinks about it and makes it. Yeah, it I've been you. there. I've been there. I can't remember what it was now, but yeah, I've been there. I'm like, oh, come on, seriously. <laughs> uh, I don't drink soda. Haven't drunk it in 30 years. Wow. Wow. 30 years. Yeah, I'm actually drinking rip it a rip it right now. 
because I don't want to I don't want to fall asleep on Little John. So that's what I'm actually doing right now is I'm streaming right now because I'm pretty tired or whatever. But I'm drinking Rip It to actually stay up and then I'm playing my video games or whatever. And I just wait for Little John to fall asleep, basically. Hey, look at that. Luke Tech. This is for Little John and for support John. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you so much, Luke Tech. Luke Tech's awesome, man. He is a sponsor as well. As you can see, his name is in green, and he gets an MTR badge or whatever, and then he can do the emoji. So if you want to become a sponsor, go ahead and hit that sponsor button. Uh, helps out. It's $4.99 a month, so I know some of you guys can't do that. But if you'd like to, be awesome. Uh, and check out definitely check out Luke Tech's channel, man. He goes live a lot. Mm. And I tell you, that wind is kicking tonight, y'all. I'm telling you, he is. But anyway. uh, the invention to help my son not to be mute and have autism for the day, like a thing he puts on his head and takes it all away. Yeah, the thing, the thing is, guys, which is it's really, it's really dumb to think about this, but, you know, like, Things like, you know, people that are mute or mute autistic, right? It's only a small percentage of the population. They don't get as much funding as something like, let's say, a VR headset or AR game. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is silly to think about it, you know? Yeah. Because I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, they have the technology to make some type of, you know, thing that you wear on your head that can kind of not read your thoughts, but at least tell your emotions if you're sad, if you're angry, you know, and it would be able to tell, you know, a parent, hey, I'm sad. Hey, I'm angry. Hey, you know, I'm hungry. Hey, I'm thirsty. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's some type of way that it can, you know, they can put the the nodes, you know what I'm saying? Put little nodes or whatever. And then you kind of just wear like a little hat or something. Mm -hmm. And it'll just, it'll just say, hey, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm sad. I'm mad. You know? Man, something like that would be so expensive, man. I know. They would I charge know. so much for, but it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be pretty cool if they could do something like that. My daughter don't go to bed till twelve or one a.m. Yeah, so I, I literally just let him just play on his phone or his tablet until he tires himself out, and then that's how he goes to sleep most nights. So. Um. Let me see here. Did you hear about Pepsi and Dr. Pepper putting in, in the Pledge of Allegiance on their cans for Super Bowl and leaving out one nation under God? From the Pledge? I don't doubt it one bit. Um, I know you said John, but uh, I know you mentioned it earlier as well, Robert Allen. It don't it, it don't surprise me one bit. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> man, we're going. I'm telling you, man, this 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 country, bro, is going to heck in a handbasket. That's all I'm going to say about that. It it's is. just little things, little things that just, you know, just like, you know what I'm saying? When, you, you know, remember you used to go to school, you stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance, mm -hmm. put your hand on your heart. That's too much for kids nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Oh, now it's, it's politically incorrect. And, and in some states, it's illegal to even fly the American flag. Well, that's what I've heard. That's what I've read. That in certain communities, certain cities, and certain states, you, you, it's, it's offensive to fly the American flag. I'm like, seriously? Yeah, man. As a veteran of twelve years in the mil in the military, it makes me sick to my stomach when I see uh -huh. these things and I read these things. To be a hundred completely percent honest with you guys, and you know, what I'm saying there's too many snowflakes out there right now. Oh that yeah, bothered and it ticks me off. So, but and obviously, and and tech and panels I don't really focus on that. But yeah, cause we can get on that all day. We can get on that all day long. Lord. I mean, if I mean, truth be told, I could. I mean. You know, I mean, uh, that's just ridiculous. Um, well, Jonathan, that's, that's what I heard. I heard that, that, that heard that there was one area. I want to say it's in California somewhere where they really did not did not want the American flag to be flown. I'm not really sure if it's banned. They just didn't like it being flown. I'm like, well, it's America, so I'm going to fly it high and I'm going to fly it proud. And people don't like it, they can they can lump it, you know. Yeah, but that's just my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? I fought for freedom so people can have freedoms. But just, man, the freedoms they're taking are just like, 
whoa, man, it's just yeah, way it's just, too out there, bro. It's just it's just going away little by little. Mm-hmm. It was California. Yeah, I thought it was Vincent D. But yeah, so that's just that's just my that's just my opinion out there. You know what I'm saying? I'll never make a video stating that or whatever. You know, we're well into a live stream, so you guys pretty much know how I feel. But yeah. Um Michael, I would not trust brain tech, but just me. Yeah, I mean brain tech, I mean, I'm talking about just literally for people that cannot, you know, can't talk as far as, you know, that are very severely handicapped or, you know, that are mute or whatever. Just for them to be able to, you know, communicate with you somehow. Because, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's some way that the eyes can do it. You know, they say the eyes are the gateway, you know, to the soul. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Then again, it's yeah. really hard for, it's really far, hard to even keep a head on his head. So he probably wouldn't even wear that stuff anyways, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> True. Who knows? But yeah, um, I, I know that everybody in the comments is getting off on politics stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's no, just not a I'm, that's I'm, not a very good topic to get on. Yeah, no, no, I don't want to do the politics, bro. I don't care, Democrats, Republic. I don't care about none of that stuff, bro. I'm just talking. Literally, I'm just talking. I just, I just want to talk about you know. <laughs> I just want, I just, just, just the stuff. You know, what I'm saying just that, the, just the crazy stuff right now that's going on in the world and the country is just ugh. Just makes mm -hmm. me sick, but whatever, man. We'll just, uh, man. You got a donation, man. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, Robert Castillo says vets deserve respect. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. Um, Tim Smith, man. I really, I really don't want to get into that here, bro. It's gonna get a lot of fighting. Yeah, man. Yeah, people like politics, but people get people get mad too much on politics. So I think that's kind of a subject to stay away in. unless you have a politics channel, which this is not. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even I don't even I really don't even know the difference between the two, bro. Like that's it's just me. I don't I don't even know the difference between this. So I can't I couldn't even tell you what I what I am because I don't I really don't know the difference between one or the other. Art Dog says, thanks for the politics avoidance. Yes. <laughs> RJ will be the next president. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a disaster. <laughs> Tech Rants, what's up, man? How are you doing tonight? Man, we I guess I, I opened up a can of worms saying stuff like that, man. But it's just yeah, just I, I remember I actually went to Catholic school, you know what I'm saying, back in the day from uh kindergarten to fifth grade, you know. Mm -hmm. And man, boy, was that rough, man. That was rough, rough. But you know, it was a good thing. Yeah. yeah. RJ reminds me of Marty Higgins. Who's Marty Higgins, y'all? <laughs> Vincent D says, RJ, make me your vice president. <laughs> I don't know, man. I was I, I all I know is I was in the military for 12 years and I had a commander in chief. Who, which which was the president and that's who I followed man that's I didn't I didn't know you know I didn't you know I don't care who was in the office bro we respected him mm -hmm. but either it, it is what it is <sighs> so let's yeah see. Uh, let's see what we got going on here let's see it's based off the old school feeling chart and the app sends text to family members based on what their needs are huh okay Visually impaired, meaning they were born blind, and this kid is only seven years old. Huh. So yeah, but um, so how do we get on? How do we get on everything else from what we want to add and take away from phones? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. I want to add a political app to the phone. No, just <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's plenty of them on the app store. <laughs> there's oh, there's an app for that. Yeah, I made I made for that. I made the mistake of downloading CNN on my phone. Oh, oh. god. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, seeing, uh, that's one thing there you want to stay away from <laughs> all right all right so um I, I just can't i can't remember man um man i got a tv that doesn't have a um what is it they don't have the you know how it has a red yellow and white plugs they don't mm -hmm. have those plugs <laughs> like this just boggled my mind, dude. Like, because I have an old system that uses that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And 
literally just can't be used anymore with it. Some Man, of them don't. Got, co- some of them don't come with coaxial cable anymore. Yep. Like, yeah, I got a uh, I got a old VCR DVD combo that I still have, and it takes those red uh, what was it red white and yellow or whatever, and uh, I think I'm not sure if my I think my TV my TV I've had it for right almost almost a year now I think it's got those uh, inputs for it but uh, yeah a lot of stuff is just taking away all, I mean it's all going HDMI and all that stuff now yeah. Yeah, somebody, it's funny too because a lot of people, they come into Target looking for like various things. Like somebody came in there today looking for a CD changer, like a a, a stereo with like a five disc disc CD changer. I mean, there's, look, I mean, they're still around. They're just not as, uh, you don't see them as much. I mean, you know, whenever I go into like a Walmart somewhere and I see a, like a portable CD player, I'm like, wow. I mean, you know, yeah. Or or you see those voice recorders where most phones now have that built into their phone now. So somebody actually came in the store looking for what the heck were they looking for? A it wasn't CD an MP- changer. Yeah, see no no, not that. C D changer. Uh then they were looking for an MP three player, which is really hard to find. You know, yeah. they still have them, but like there's no sense in the MP three player. Um uh, oh, I remember, I remember. You remember the big video cassette, and then you had the small video cassette, and you had that adapter. Mm-hmm. That I got buy. one of them. I got one of them. Yeah. Somebody came in in Target asking me for that, bro. I I laughed like. <laughs> old old uh, VHSC, uh, the little VHSC tapes that fits into the to the big VCR. Yeah, I got one of them at the house. Um, cause I used to have a uh, one of those Panasonic camcorders back in around 2000, 2001 that had the VHSC. Uh, I still got them to this day. Yeah, that was that was just strange, man. Strange, strange. Like the the things that people come in there and ask about, and it's just like, no, not not even close. Man, I've even been into Walmart and seen uh, blank cassette tapes still for sale. Man, they're like four dollars for two. No like, way! Wow. Yeah, man. I mean, the blank cassettes two for like four dollars, and I'm like, seriously. I guess because nobody sells them anymore, so they can charge what they want to charge for. CDs are in the Smith & Wesson now. Oh, I, I have a boom box. I bought in 1993. It still works. I bet. Uh, Brian P. asks, what is the weirdest thing some ask for at Target? Or have you done answered that? Um, I, I'm going to have to think about that one. I'm going to have to think about that one. But... Um, I think somebody asked for a typewriter or something like that. It was kind of weird. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, uh, re- yeah, I mean, Rose Jane, talking about you know, the 93 boombox. I got a Phillips uh, boombox that I've had since like 97, something like that. And it still, it still kicks pretty good. Micro CDs. Oh, yeah, micro CDs. Bring back LimeWire bear share. <laughs> Oh my God, line more like more or less like a like more or less like a virus waiting to happen, man. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember. I was I used to download uh skin flicks on that stuff, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I have a Taco Boy from Home Alone. Boom Alone. I, I have a Talk Boy as well, but I don't have it no more. I have it. It's somewhere. The old Home Alone 2 talk boy, man. I remember when them things came out. Them things sold like hotcakes, man. I had one. I had a lot of stuff like that, but uh, a lot of us, of course. <laughs> mm. Go on Amazon, they will have it. Yeah, Amazon usually has it, but it's, I don't know, man. It's just weird, man, having to tell everybody bone alone. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, Luke. Well, uh, we'll definitely do that sometime, man. Um, you know, join you in a, in a live video sometime. Definitely talking about boost and all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, we'll do it, mm-hmm. man. Oh, there's a there's a secret, guys. That I want to tell you guys the blade <laughs> blade X Max, man. It's gonna be getting. Oh well, no, I'm 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 gonna save that one for tomorrow. I'm gonna save that one for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, give him a little bit of a teaser and leave him hanging. Yeah. 
I, I can sit here all day. I, I can sit here all day about favorite movies. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of movies. I can't. That, there's uh, we we we'll be we we'll be in here until tomorrow sometime. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really a movie buff. I back in the day, man, me me and my dad and my mom, we we got kicked out because we all had like candy and soda. You know what I'm saying? You know how expensive that stuff is, bro, inside oh, the God. theater. So my mom had a couple cans of cans of soda in her purse and my dad had like some candy in his and a little thing he used to carry, a little tote or something like that. Uh-huh. So yeah, they kicked us out of the movie theater because of it. Man, she when I mean they charge three dollars for a bag of M&Ms and three seventy five for a medium drink. I mean, come on now. I mean, I used to go in there. I'd have a twenty ounce uh, Mountain Dew in my back pocket when I go in there. I'd have some little 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 uh, mini sized chips in one pocket and some <laughs> other stuff in another pocket. Man, shoot, I like it. I haven't been to the movies in so long, bro, because I don't know. I just I, I just refuse to pay those prices, man, for all that stuff. Yeah, I don't either. And it seems I mean, like honestly, you get hungry right as soon as you hit. <laughs> <laughs> something, something about being in a the theater and that big Coke Cola shows up on the screen all fizzy and cold. It makes you want to drink, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, they know what they're doing. They want you to go out there and spend that $4 for their little small or medium drink. Yeah. So I usually like I usually hit up McDonald's dollar the dollar menu just get like a whole bunch of stuff before I go. Yeah, might as well. Shoot, I mean especially in like the winter time when you're wearing a coat, you can you can hide all kinds of food, man. And Chuck E. Cheese, boy, have you been to Chuck E. Cheese? It's been a long time, man. Since I've been to Chuck E. Cheese, it's been okay. I, I've been it's been it's been a long time. I like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I mean, honestly, going to going to the movies now, though. I mean, you, you can pay like nine to ten dollars a person to get in, and I mean, and a, and, a, and a lot of movies when they come out now, you can download them, you know, for like for like buying for like ten fifteen dollars. So I mean, I don't see the point of going to the theater anymore myself. That's just my personal preference. My, my that's just what I think about it. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. That that was that was that place was awesome back in the day. Yeah. That, you know those games, man. The, you know those games are all rigged, man. I didn't, oh, yeah. I never knew about it, but yeah. Now that I've I've been watching too many YouTube videos now. Yeah, oh. I was really surprised, uh, Robert. Whenever they actually started selling beer at Chuckie Cheese, I was like, seriously. <laughs> I mean, uh, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, those little cups, bro. I mean, like, come on now. How how drunk are you really going to get, anyways? But. Yeah. <laughs> Early bird special is now nine dollars where I live. Yeah, I remember Damn. when you used to when I, whenever you used to could go, you know, before five or six o'clock at night for their you know their matinee movies was like three or four dollars, man. And now, you know, what the full price was then is the, is the matinee prices now? It's ridiculous. Yeah, there's only so many places that me, little John, and the wife can go. You know, because little John acts kind of kind of crazy, so you know what I'm saying we have to be specially prepared. For when we go and we have to, you know, kind of be quick about it or whatever. So, you know, we try we try not to make a mess or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But so we, we like to go to um CC's Pizza. Little John likes CC's Pizza a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And they're really not that bad of, you know, they're they're, you know, they're pretty good. Cuz little yeah, little John, he'll just he'll, he'll tear up a kid, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's it's hard for me to, you know, tell parents, "Hey, he's autistic and, you know, you know, Whatever, yeah. I, we kind of just avoid it, you know. But we try, we definitely try. But he loves, yeah, he loves, he loves different places. Oh yeah, I don't, uh, Peaks is always good though. Yeah, man, getting night, getting see by night bot a lot. I know, man. Good old night bot, man. Dave and Buster's. Damn, that didn't like. I wish we had a Dave and Buster's. Says Brian P. I don't know what what Nightbot didn't like that man. I don't. CC's is worth it to get your bank bang for your yeah yeah exactly. Yeah, I don't know how they make money, bro. It's only like six bucks or seven bucks, and they give you the all the pizza you can eat with the you know pasta whatever. I mean, it's not like the best pizza in the world, but they got no. some really got some pretty good like little. Things in there, bro. They got you know the pep, the 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 barbecue pizza. They got the what's that one that I really like? Uh, buffalo buffalo uh, chicken pizza. Man, mm, 
Man, that so, sounds good, man. Yeah, oh, it sounds is good. I'm telling you, I ain't, been, I ain't been there in a couple years, but I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, they ain't the best piece in the whole world, but I mean, going there for six, seven dollars, whatever, all you can mm-hmm. eat, and shoot, go to town. Go on man. Sunday, go on Sunday, man. Kids eat for free, so little John's in there. There you go. Yeah, boy. Yeah, man, we'll have to hit up CC's Pizza, bro, when you come here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got one in the red area, man. Yeah, I, I got, I got one close, close by. Well, it's not close by. It's, it's a little ways, but it's not far. Rose Jane says, I don't take my daughter. She goes up to people and tries to grab people's drinks. Yeah, I mean, people are usually, you know, I mean, you know, they give us little looks here and there. I mean, whatever. We just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Apologize if he does something, you know, strange or different or whatever. You know, people are generally pretty nice. You know, the wife gets a little ups- a little bit more upset than I do. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, so I tend not to. Not to get too crazy. So I, I know some. Go ahead. Michael Thomas says, "How do you like that North Carolina barbecue? They ain't nothing like it, man. They ain't nothing like it. I'm telling you, it's good stuff." Chris Best. Stevenson says, "I'm back, guys. Sorry, I had to do chores. LOL. That's good, man. Do your chores, man. Do your chores. Do your homework. Stay in school. Don't be watching me if you got to go to school, bro." You know what I'm saying? Do your homework first, then watch you some MTR. So, yeah, North Carolina barbecue, best in the nation, best in the nation. Okay, anybody says, okay, you know, anybody says it's best. So yeah, there we go. Done with that. What what is that? What is that one place that that you go that you can go? It's kind of like country a little bit, but it's a drive through, and they have the little, they have the, they have the little trays or whatever. I can't remember what it's called. And they have oh, shakes my. or whatever. It's a five dollar tray, I think. Oh God! Um, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, but, I know. I know, but I can't think uh, right now. I hate when I hate when this happens, man. I literally I eat it a couple times, a couple couple times a month at least. You go through there, you can get the big tea, uh, and then oh my God! I can't think. My goodness! And you can get a barbecue uh, sandwich. As the you yeah. get you get one main uh, side and then you get no two side one main and two sides. Now nah, it's not steak and shake. It's not steak and shake. Yeah, it's uh, you know like you know, once a year here we got the Lacey's and Barbecue Festival uh, over in uh, over in Davidson County. And, you know, and people people I mean there's there's like tons of people just to, just to go there and eat. Here I you guess. go. Hold on. Jason Branch got it. Yes. Cookout. Yeah, cookout. Man, people hey, on the replay. Are like, what the heck are these guys talking about? <laughs> it's it's pretty much, I guess, open topic, man, right now. <laughs> it's just whatever. <laughs> yeah. This is one of them but whatever no, people, strings. People get on me on the top. Man, this guy babbling for like an hour. Didn't even really talk about the subject. No, 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 no. So. No, I'm yeah, I'm talking about cookout. Cookout. Cookout is the is the truth, man. I really yeah, like cookout. Yeah, cookout's good. <laughs> and I'm telling you, man, I don't know about y'all, I don't know about your area, but cookout here, they stay packed out. I mean, they cause accidents for the for the traffic, man. I'm not even kidding you. I had rallies today, bro. The two for four, double uh-huh. burgers. Oh my god, man. I never been to rallies. I never been to rallies. I never been in and out burger, but ain't in and out burger a western a west a west coast type place? I think so. R- rallies and checkers are the same thing I heard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think Little John is actually asleep now, so he's kind of quiet. So when he gets quiet like that, I pretty much know that he's probably asleep. Yeah, all these places like In and Out Burger, Five Guys. I, I I've never been to any of those. I never even heard of those. Around here, there's a lot of there's places you know around here we don't have stuff like that. HCC needs to come out with better phones. Yeah, I, I agree. Had I had five guys once. Hey, Shay Kennedy, what's up? I didn't notice you in here. The West Coast thing, I kind of figured it was. Hmm. It ain't <laughs> Whataburger, kind of like a um. Northern thing or something like that. I don't know. I never heard. Of, I never seen it around here. 
Man, I don't know what it is, but there's like these like I guess there's a lot of millennial places nowadays. Like it's like, oh, you gotta eat healthy, you gotta eat this and that and third, and it's all yeah. made organically and all. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, I don't know. yeah. And they charge super high prices for all that stuff, and it's like you know, mm -hmm. my chicken, my chicken was raised, you know, I don't know the right way, and <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like Carl Jr. or something. I don't know, bro. Like I can't. Yeah, Carl Jr. That's kind of like like the like Hardee's and Carl Jr. is kind of like the same thing. Burger King's new double quarter pounder king. No, I have it. That sounds that sounds like a monster. Napo, yo, MTR, what's up, man? I bet you, I bet you, we got mad dislikes, yo. Man, I tell him to, check it out, man. There's no telling him, but no telling. Yeah, man. Guys, we have 19 likes and we have 22 dislikes. <laughs> Lordy. So if you're watching this right now, please hit that like button so we can turn this little frown upside down or whatever. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. There's some haters, man. I mean, people just, just they love going on here. Man, it's ridiculous. Oh, thank you, Jonathan Ezel, and thank you for retweeting the stuff as usual. Napo, what's up, man? MTR, it's been a minute. I can't remember. Napo, did did we collaborate or did we play on a game or you just been a long time subscriber or what? Now there are twenty two likes. Awesome, awesome. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. How's the weather? It's warm tonight. It's like 55 degrees. It feels pretty good out here tonight. Super duper burger down in South. I've never seen one here no, in my never state. Seen one either. Never. I always wonder like these little places and think, you know, and I always wonder if there's an, uh, you know, there in any other states, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, there's always going to be haters, Art Dog. Nah, man. Y'all owe people money? No, we don't owe nobody nothing. Nope. John, it is now tomorrow, so tell us about the Blade X Max. Man, I'll tell, I'll tell you in the chat, man. <laughs> Uh, you guys remember Skippers? Yeah, I remember Skippers. I, I, I get it. I still go there every once in a while. Thirteen degrees where you live. Wow, it's 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 a little bit chilly there, Rose Jane. Oh man. So yeah, guys, it's 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 midnight. So let's probably go ahead and wrap it up. I didn't All realize right. it was that late. So yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 actually Friday. Yeah. What's up? Oh, we got 32 in here watching. Man, need to help you guys get back on track about phones. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, it is Friday. That's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. They ask, you if I'm on, they ask you if I'm on live. I don't know yet. I, I don't see it happening since it's already midnight. So I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, come on, CV Tech man, you can you can pop one off, man. I might I might get a little. I might, I might do a small one. I don't know. Who who wants CV Tech to go live? Go ahead, go ahead and type a sixty nine if y'all want to see. Well, hit the like button and then type in sixty nine. Because <laughs> man, we gotta turn these we gotta turn these around, bro. Yeah, I know, man. I'm telling you, I just nah, gotta. Let me let me see the whole chat light up with 69s. Let's let's see. CV Tech likes to see 69s. Wow. Let's see. Dang. We got a lot in here. I guess the majority rules, huh? Lordy, have mercy. Look at that. Have you ever seen so many 69s in your life? No, nah, man, I hadn't. <laughs> <laughs>
Look at that. I got to find how much battery life I got left. I ain't got I ain't got much battery life left, so I, I can do a little stream for a little bit. <laughs> Luke text like sixty nine, sixty nine, sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess I do. I guess I do a, a little small. A I got little a little, I got a little joke for y'all. What what's the what's the speed of sex? The speed of sex is sixty eight. Because if you go sixty nine, you have to turn around. <laughs> oh man! Vincent D raised his hand. Some people, some are probably voting more than once. It's all good, though. Of yeah. course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Behave, Cochino. LOL, yeah. What the heck? Shoot these filth. Wow. There you go. Got a hater in the house. Mm-hmm. If this was Apollo, you'd get heckled. Apollo? I don't get it. Apollo? What's Apollo? But yeah, I, I really don't um, read up much on phone news much lately. I haven't really done it much lately. <laughs> I, I need hate to her. find that. I need to find that screenshot, of Vincent D. I need to find that screen. I, I, it's on. It's on one of my phones. I don't know. Pro Apollo Creed, Rocky, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> oh, oh! You never watched the Apollo? No, I never watched the Apollo. No, I haven't either. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I was just telling a corny joke, man. Oh. Gotta love those, man. I uh, it's it's cute, man. Um, I get like a consumer cellular customers, and you know they're usually senior citizens, older people, whatnot. Man, they're I'm telling you, man. I don't know. They're just they just they just like have so much wisdom, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of them tell me like the corniest jokes from like the old mm -hmm. olden days, man. I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> yeah, they're such, they're such sweethearts, man. Every every single I one of them. You know, the moon was really big last night. It was really pretty last night, and uh, mm -hmm. I was, I was outside, and and and, a, and, a, and, a, and an older guy he came out there. He said, "Man, would you get? He said, would you take? Would you take take my phone and get a picture of the moon?" I was like, "Okay, what phone you got?" He had a flip phone, and I was like, "Man, I was like, I'll try." I said, "I, I said I want to try to get, get get you a get you a good moon shot," but I, I, man, there was just no way. I mean, it was an old flip phone. I ain't no way. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I, I I love the older customers, man. Sometimes I'm not. Don't get me wrong, man. Sometimes like they can gang up on me, man. It's like a whole. It looks like a senior citizen center up in that piece. They're swarming me around with the consumer cellular stuff because that's literally like where you get service at. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of people, you know. what I'm saying, and sometimes you know they take their time and they tell me stories. I'm like, man, come on, let me get your first name. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, well, like, well, you know, come on. Huh? Well, Chris, Chris, a lot of people use a lot, people that are elderly. A lot of those use flip phones because a lot of them don't get smartphones. No, and you know they, they don't get it. They don't. You know, they don't want to learn it. And I don't blame them. I mean, honestly, if they ain't got to learn it, then don't learn it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Stick with the flip phone. Be done with it. But yeah, man, you got you got to love them, man. You got to love them. You need a phone emoji, MTR. Yeah, man, I only got two sponsors. We need another sponsor. We need I think we need four sponsors to get um the second emoji. So it's it's every two it's every two sponsors we get to have a new emoji. But yeah. I might change I might change this one. Chris, I do believe that um consumer seller uses T Mobile and AT and T towers, man.
much I might change the special emoji that I use. Is John asleep yet? Yep, he's asleep. Let me let me go check on him real quick. Check on him real quick. Have a boost flip mobile flip to be able to call nine one one. Yeah, I mean there's nothing wrong with Like a day, and I just couldn't do it. There was no way. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've seen some people that are, you know, they're elderly that love the smartphones, and I've seen some that just don't give it, don't, don't care a bit about smartphones. Yeah, he fell asleep with his blade spark in his hand. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. See. Yeah, little John. I wish I can. I wish I can show y'all, but obviously the cameras uh, attached to the laptop. So, but yeah, he's just yeah. He fell asleep. Fell asleep with the <laughs> playing. Uh, I don't know what he was. What is he playing? Uh, ABC Phonics. Yeah, I believe the consumer seller uses AT and T and T Mobile towers. Yep, they use both. Yeah. It depends on what SIM card you have. Mm -hmm. So, yep, yeah, now I can get off of here and I can go to sleep myself and I don't have to worry about Little John escaping the dungeon. <laughs> you guys would be amazed. I have three alarms on the door. I have a bolt on the top and, and the bottom and then a uh, regular door latch. So, yeah, Little John ain't going nowhere, man. That's uh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody ask everybody asks me questions on here when I go live here in a few minutes. Just ask me on there. Come there on over there and ask me on there. All right. Actually, if you want to just jump off of here and start your live stream, man, I'll keep them all ready to go. It don't matter. That? It don't matter. Everybody just <laughs> go. My son fell asleep playing Mario Kart on his Game Boy. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and roll then, guys. All right. It was so a good you, stream, man. Definitely, man. Definitely. How, mm -hmm. how, many, how many likes and dislikes we got? Let's see. Let's, let's, let's get the final count. Let's get the final count. That is crazy. Lord, you have mercy. We have 27 likes and 25 dislikes. Well, at least we surpassed the dislikes. Nice hat, MTR. Oh, thank you, man. This is actually Little John's hat. I have it on the last, the last little notch. <laughs> this is Little John's hat. It's a kid's hat. <laughs> I, can, I can wear it on the last notch, and it it kind it kind of fits. <clears throat> we can talk one day. Become a sponsor. I have a business. No, no, not like that. It's just a it's a sponsor button or whatever. It's like it's like. Five dollars a month or whatever, and it gives you like you turn green. Your your name turns green to show that you're a thing, and then you have the bat, the little badge that says MTR or whatever, and then you get the little emoji. And plus, you can't get timed out by Nightbot, so. Okay. So let's see. Let's see here. Okay. My channel. Uh, go ahead. My my channel is not eligible. For uh, for that uh, feature, What's for that? some reason, it says it's been, it says right now it's for gaming channels. Yeah, somehow I got in there, dude. I don't I don't even know how the heck I did it. Yeah, uh, there's two things right now that I'm ineligible for, and that's one of the other one. I can't remember what it is. Community thing. Well, I don't have that yet. I mean, there's people that I've seen that's got forty thousand subscribers that still don't got the community tab. Oh damn. Um, but they said it just kind of, you know, whoever gets it, gets it. But uh, there's one more thing on there, but I can't remember now what it is. <laughs> a vote for MTR and CV is a vote for a better America. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Rose Jane, the night bot. <laughs> yeah, she's getting timed out because of the emojis. Uh, you yeah. mean Nightbot times out emojis? If you span the emojis, just because I don't want people putting different crazy symbols in here. 
Ah, gotcha. Don't tell people they can they can't get timed out by Nightbot. If they sponsor or will attract all all kinds of bad people. I mean, damn, Rose, Rose Jane is going ham, man. She is going <laughs> ham. She's fighting it out with Nightbot. Nightbot fights back, man. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's only five seconds. So yeah. I remember when I had yeah. it for 300 seconds, dude. And wow. I, yeah, and I would I would activate it like right in the middle. Like five minutes. Yeah, I would act I would activate Nightbot right in the middle and it would just like it would take everybody because it would go from like the beginning to the to the point in the video I was at. Mm-hmm. I forgot what word I had it saying. Oh, bro. You couldn't say bro for some reason. Mm. Anybody said yeah. bro. You remember that? I remember that. I remember that. Yep. Oh, man. Lunar Eclipse. I have not. I, 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 I lost on that one. All right. Good night there, Rose Jane. All right. So, yeah, man. CB Tech. I can't wait to, to hear you go live, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go live for a few minutes. All right, I'm not very long. All right, all right, guys. So don't forget to check out CV Tech. Obviously, subscribe to this channel, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace out, y'all. Peace out.